This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Okay, up until this point, the Fractal FM3, uh, you had scenes on it. So a scene, if you're not aware in the Fractal world, you can change channels on amplifiers uh, or on the amplifier block. And what that meant was that you could have four different amps, essentially, or amp models within one preset, right? Um, same across delay blocks, same across reverb blocks and everything like that. However... Up until this point, it wasn't gapless, so you'd get a small gap when switching between amp models or delays or reverbs. Somehow, they figured this out. Cliff, I think, is probably going to be the guy behind this, where the FM9 and the Axe FX3 have had this for a while. But this was the big kind of um, selling point to some extent of the Tone Master Pro, this kind of being able to switch gaplessly between presets. Now, the Fractal FM3, which is their entry kind of level device can do this too and what this means is that not only do you have like these top features that the the newest modelers have on a unit that has been out now for a while i think i have mine since 2019 or something like that uh but you have the most amp models by far of any of the other modelers i think you have the best effects probably by quite some way of any of the other modelers. Um, the most plentiful, the most tweakable, all of the things that maybe you'd expect like the top modeler to do, basically the Fractal FM3 can do it. The only one kind of thing that it's not able to do that the FM9 and the Axfex are able to do is dual amp models. So you can't have two simultaneous amp models within a preset however i have to say that's not actually something that i found that i needed to use a ton there are kind of less blocks available in general in the fm3 than the fm9 i've done other videos i think leon todd has definitely done some videos on that as well but the fm3 is now basically up there with some of the most uh well it's above them isn't it but anyway with some of the the top kind of flagship products that other units have uh you know quad cortex can't do this the hx stomp hx stomp xl can't do this the helix can do this but i think you can fit quite a bit more in a single fractal pre uh, fm3 preset than you could fit into a, a single helix um processing 
chain because that would be 16 blocks available um, if you wanted to go gapless with your helix floor but game changing update on a device that has been out for some time i think yeah really impressive to see i wanted to do a video on it i'm now uh updating my presets so i've got a, a second to, to sort of just talk about it but i hope you're enjoying it go check out leon todd's video which i'm sure he's got up before mine but i've been waiting for this for a while because i really love the fm3 form factor but up to this point there was this small gap which could be somewhat noticeable in some scenarios like maybe if you're using in-ears or whatever like that but that's now gone i wanted to get this video out because i think this is really important this is something i've been waiting for for a little while the fm9 from fractal and the axe fx3 have had this gapless preset scene channel switching for a little while and I think this is actually a game changer because what this means is now that the, the Fractal FM3, which is their cheapest kind of entry level kind of modeler, and it's like half the processing power of an FM9 and, you know, less than half of an Axe FX3. But because we've got the gapless preset scene switching stuff, you can have, you know, switch between four different amps in one preset. But not only that, you could switch over to another preset with no gap. So you could have, you know, endless combinations of amplifiers um no dual lamp capability in the fractal world with the fm3 but i've not found that to be a limitation because the amp modeling itself is so good so yes gapless preset scene and channel switching which is great news and not only that but they've updated the amp modeling in general and we got some new amp models so class a30 what brilliant JS410 lead green, that's the Joe Satriani thing. A uh, silver Jubilee, Friat D60 models, orange Rockaverb, um, the CA3 rack rhythm and lead models, uh, Friedman BE, HBE, Rectos, the 2203 800, and the low input mode of the 2204, the 5153 Stealth, and not only the JP2C Plus, and there's a Boogie Mark, but also the Mark V. And also three more drive pedals, the Mesa Flux Drive and the Nobel's ODR1 and the JHS Morning Glory and other improvements. But that's really, really great news. Um, let's just dive in and take a little bit of a look. And now you should see that. a bit crazy on this one we'll have to go into our output block and turn our main level down <laughs> So now we can switch between these what we would want to do if we want this to be really seamless is we've got two delay block uh, blocks blocks right um so you can put in delay one or two um you want to manage your presets in a way that on presets that you're switching between potentially like on 406 for instance you might have delay one doing the thing and then on 405 you'd have delay two 
active in the next preset, if that makes sense, so that when you're switching between them, uh, you are able to maintain those trails because delay block one is not being utilized in both. Otherwise, you get some elements of things changing if that block does change. <laughs> huge update for fractal fm3 users catch you on another video soon let me know how you're going to be using these and uh yeah cheers